sure to get your playmat today at tsx1.com. So, what is going on YouTube? It's your boy Sam from Team Samurai X1 here. Happy Tuesday. Hopefully you guys had a wonderful weekend. I'm sorry that I couldn't upload on Monday, but Tuesday I am back with more awesome Yu-Gi-Oh! videos. And in today's video, this bag of goodies right here has a bunch of Yu-Gi-Oh! mystery packs. You guys all know I love mystery packs. And what I decided to do for today's video is compare a $1 Yu-Gi-Oh! mystery pack from the dollar store versus a $50 Yu-Gi-Oh! mystery pack at Walmart. And I also got a bunch of mystery packs in between the $1 and $50 pack so we can compare which mystery pack is overall the better value. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. For those of you here on the channel for the very first time, welcome to the channel, my name is Sam. Consider on hitting the subscribe button and make sure you guys turn on this. Come on, uh, kiss this thing, ah! Explode that thing, smash! That thumbs up, it'll be absolutely amazing. And okay, I'll cut that thing for more awesome videos. Let's aim for 2,000 plus likes on this video. That'll be absolutely amazing. And by the way, and recently, man, I, I've been super stressed and I can't even lie, man. It's been super sad. And it's sad to say that, why aren't you subscribed to the channel, man? We're almost at 300,000 subscribers, so click on that subscribe button because we're almost at 300K subs, road to 300K. So for those of you who can subscribe to the channel, you guys are absolutely amazing. All right, guys, don't waste any more time. Without further ado, let's get started with the $1 mystery pack versus the $50 mystery pack. Without further ado, let's begin. Alright guys, here we have it, the mystery pack video. So I'm gonna showcase you guys a different variety of mystery packs that we have in today's video. Dollarama mystery packs are here. So these packs are dollar and 25 cents each Canadian. So that's even less than one dollar USD. 10 of these packs right here, which is really awesome. The second one are the Dollarama mystery packs. So right here, as you guys can see on the screen, I got you guys 10 of these bad boys. And these unfortunately are not one dollar. They are about six dollars Canadian per pack right here and I got 10 of copies one two three four five six seven eight and I got two more here nine ten so ten copies so we got ten copies of these mystery pack right here next right here you guys all know what this is this is the mystery power cube right here this is thirty dollars Canadian right here like 35 36 Canadian right here and in these packs you get one legacy pack two booster packs five rare cards and 55 common cards and the entire mystery aspect is with the random cards and the rare cards that you get inside this mystery box right here so look it tells it tells me you can get phantasmate extravagance uh, you know ash blossom bls lifer but who knows these things are always a hit and miss so we're gonna compare this one to these ones as well last but not least i decided to get this mystery power box right here another mystery pack that walmart has to offer it is a mystery box this one contains one rare metal raiders graded card and also one legacy pack and four booster packs so you're guaranteed five booster packs in total and one psa graded card which is pretty awesome but this is a price of 50 dollars 49.86 canadian we're gonna round that up to 50 dollars so one dollar six dollar thirty five dollars and fifty dollars in mystery packages and mystery boxes right here so we're gonna cut this right here let's see what we get so okay <laughs> umbra horror okay let's see what we get Ooh, clux spar toy right here so we got one rare card right here which is not that bad it's, it's better than getting nothing right so that's the first rare card i want to see if we can actually get any foils out of this if we get a foil oh my goodness i'll, I'll be super happy man let's Let's get started with this. What else are we getting? TG Werewolf, okay. Dark Tinker, Time Thief, Bezel Ship. What else is, oh! Damage Juggler, okay. So we got Update Jammer, so so pretty good staples right here. So we got Damage Juggler as an Ultra Rare, as you guys can see. We were able to pull this from BLRR. This is a $1.25 mystery pack, by the way. And we also got an Update Jammer. So this is probably like, I don't know, 50 cents a dollar maybe. But it's still a pretty cool staple you can have in your extra deck, right? Which is pretty awesome. So that's pretty much it for the second pack. So we got a rare and also a foil, which is not that bad at all from a $1 mystery pack from dollar uh, from the dollar store. So, ooh, Assault Dog. We're here, Destiny Board. Okay, so we got a Buster Leader card as well, Prologue. Assault Dog, DRLG, Dragon, uh, Dragon, uh, Dragons of Legend? Yeah, Dragons of Legend, this is the first one, right? Uh, which is pretty cool, so there we have it, guys. So we're getting foils in every pack, and remember, this is only a dollar. A dollar is still pretty, you know, pretty inexpensive, but you're, like we're at least getting foils out of this, which is really good. So, Fusion Sub was really good back in the Zodiac format, of course. What else do we get here? Oh, okay. Well, Heartless Drop-Off, it's not that great. Megalo Smasher X, 
And we also got Assault, Blackwing, Sayo the Rain. So we got two rares in this, which is not that bad at all. Nice, so we got, so we're guaranteed a rare, and sometimes a foil. That's a good thing. And that's what's really good about these mystery packs right here. So, so far, I think the value is still a little bit there. I got, ten, I got this for a total of like $12. You know what I mean? Okay. Power Pal Coin Dragon, Salmon Great Claw. Ooh, Monster Reincarnation, Assault Mode Zero, and also Incantation. Pensive Plume right here. So far, no really high-end value cards that we're able to get out of this right here. But so far, as long as there's foils, I'm happy. As long as, you know, we're able to have fun and go to the dollar store. Oh! And go to the dollar store and obtain these packs right here. You're pretty much lit, you know? So, Dark Contract with the Eternal Darkness right here. What else do we have? Samagate Falco, Mortronic Bind. And of course, a Yuki Muzume, the Ice Mayakashi. So we got a Salmon Great card right here, which is, again, not that bad. Not that bad for $1 mystery pack. So we got four more to go. Come on, man. Let's see what we got. Oh, Arkina Extra Joker. Nice. That, that's pretty cool, man. I, I got amped seeing this. Wow, this is from the CT, the tin, which is not that bad. Oh, we also got a Shinobaron Peacock right here. Axe of Fools, oh my god, some good staples. Axe of Fools right here. Really awesome, the gate card, which is really nice. Arcana, and we also got right here a rare. This pack is really nice, really nice. We got an Ultra, a rare, and also a staple card that we can use if you're playing any of old base decks, right? So, so far, these Dollarama packs, I'm, I'm, for, for what I spent, pretty good value. You can't complain when it comes to this thing right here. So, next booster pack, come on. What else can we get, what else can we get? Oh, wow, this is value. This is BLR right here. Gaia, Char Gaia Dragon and Thunder Charger, really amazing. Re I'm, so far, I am very impressed with these Dollarama Yu-Gi-Oh packs. Really impressed, man. If this was back in the day, man, this card would've been worth a lot of money, man. Especially in the uh, Hieratic era. Oh, okay. Uh, plus, uh, plus Lumino, the drop in the later, but hey, an ultra rare. <laughs> Guy Dragon the Thunder Charger, really awesome. The freshness of the smell is still there. It smells, smells, smells pretty nice, I can't even lie. So, man, these dollar round packs, value, straight heat, man. Straight flipping heat. Next pack, Royal King, TG Booster Raptor. Okay, Magical Musketeer. Okay, Link Black, Link Back. What else do we get? Oh, Power Bond. And what is this? Me Meteor Rain? This pack is all right, but we got a Magical Musketeer card. So, so far we got a rare and also foils in every pack. Very consistent with this. And it's only a dollar, by the way. So, this is pretty much a great value. If you guys were to ask me, man. A lot of great values in this. Next booster pack. Wow, the Kaiju Files. Another ultra rare. Which is not that bad. Wow. Wow. We're getting decent stuff out of these mystery packs, guys. From the dollar store. So, honestly... These one do uh, these dollar packs don't guarantee us anything. That's that's the crazy thing. It just says that it's a dollar twenty five. It comes with eight cards in there. It doesn't tell us that we're gonna get a rare or a holo in the booster packs. And you know this is pretty good for uh, for the price. We got a lot of pretty cool stuff. We got foils. We got rares out of this. I definitely would recommend this in my personal opinion. Um, but now that's that's for the dollar ones, right? Let's move on to the Walmart one. The Walmart one it says 50, fifteen cards guaranteed, one foil. And one rare card in every single pack. I mean, obviously, it's better packaging, but it's obviously a little bit more expensive. So, I don't know how this one's gonna work out, but let's get started with 10 packs of these mystery packs right here. Also, guys, by the way, if you guys haven't gotten your beautiful Sacred Beast playmat, make sure you guys get it today. Hit the link down below at tx1.com. They'll be absolutely amazing. Man, this playmat is super beautiful. One of the playmats that I ever released on the channel. So, if you guys would like to support me and what I do, make sure you guys get this beautiful Sacred Beast playmat today. Hit the link down below. Let's get started with this miss. Okay, so 15 cards, one foil, and one rare in every pack. So counter gate. Don't tell me we're, we're gonna be getting movie pack ultra rares in every single pack right here. That would be very disappointing. But damn, it says one rare card. And one oh, it says one one foil card, one one rare card in every pack. We, we, we got one foil card, which is uh right here, counter gate. But the rest of the stuff aren't really that great. Doki Doki's eye. Uh, here with orange light is eye. It's it's okay. Is this the rare card? Mystic Clown? Is this really rare? Walmart? Okay, so there we have it. So that's the first one. This one was a uh, was kind of a bust. I didn't really like that right here. But here we go, counter gain right here for the very first one. I would be very disappointed if all the foils that we got 
are from the movie pack. Okay, Fusion Recovery. Okay, Fusion Enforcer is not that bad. Frontier Wiseman, Crystal Beast, Mammoth. Regeki, Last Resort, Truckroid. Okay, this is the rare card right here. This is... Yeah, this is from the Battle Pack 2 card, which is not that bad. AD Changer, Space Insulator. This pack was was okay. It, it was okay, but this is our foil card uh, in this pack right here. So this is our foil pack. So that's our foil pack. Next pack. Come on. Let's see what we got. Oh, Magic Planter. Not that bad. Okay, so we got Magic Planter right here. Cool. Uh, Shrini Swordsman. What's the what's what's the rare card in here? Okay, Dangerous, Wild Tornado, and Update Jammer. What's what's the rare card? I think the rare card is like from SDK or something. Maybe, maybe that's their definition of rare card. But the Magic Planner, I guess, this is okay. Honestly, I feel like the one dollar mystery packs are a little bit better than the six dollar Walmart mystery packs. Right now. Okay, so right here we got uh, Firefighter Daruma Doll as the rare. Where's the hollow? Where's the foil card? You're guaranteed one foil in every pack. Wow, absolute finesse. Absolute finesse, man. Oh my goodness. I Guys, honestly, maybe we should have got like 100 packs of those Dollarama Mystery Packs. That would have been super duper cool, man. That would have been crazy. Okay. Forerunner. We got Forerunner right here. This is our rare. I doubt we'll get a foil on this. Summon Skull. Relinquish. What else do we get? Yeah, man. Nothing here. <sighs> Cosmo Forerunner. Man, if we get like one good value card out of this, man, I'll be very, very happy. Oh, okay. So there you go. Lord Guy, the Fierce Knight is from the movie pack, of course. So far, it's 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 not looking like it's the greatest for these six dollars. Okay, so we got a spore, uh, 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 um, uh, what's it called? A staple right here, um, which is pretty cool. But there you go. We got the gold rare movie pack version of that. I don't see anything else that is much value in these uh, six dollar mystery packs that we got right here. So we got a couple more to go. But so far, I think the one dollar mystery packs are definitely taking the W at the moment. Backup quad, backup squad, reinforce. Okay, okay, magic and okay. So some cool staples. Right here, we can make a dollar or two off these staples. But Neil Space, okay. Rhoda magic cylinder is pretty nice, especially Rhoda is really good. So I would definitely think that this card. It's like well, I don't know. It's probably the best card out of out of all the other cards that we pulled out of uh, these packs so far, in my opinion. Okay, so next booster pack. Come on, man. Come on, Walmart. Do us some some good stuff, man. Give us. A good fall card. Ooh. Giski Beast. Beast. Okay, there you go. Focus on that. Honestly, I just want a good common card in here. Red Red Eyes B Shik. Giant Red. Yeah, man. Honestly, the definitely the Doll Ramo Pack wins. Definitely a hundred thousand percent the Doll Ramo Packs are winning this. Remember guys, I spent sixty dollars on this entire lot right here. Ten ten packs, sixty bucks. And you're not even getting like this is false advertisement. This is false advertisement. It says 15 cards, one foil, one rare card in every pack, and I'll, it looks like I'm only getting one rare or or a hollow in every pack. So it's not looking like it's it's the greatest uh, right now. But hey, you know what? We're having fun, and I buy this so you guys don't have to, you know, so you guys get an experience on what it's like to open up these packs before you guys were to go to Walmart to buy them. Let's go to the next booster pack. Okay. Kaiser Seahorse right here. Shout out to Kaiba. Okay. Cyber's Wicked. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, Neo, Neo Space Connector. Oh, and we got a, a Spanish card right here. Spanish. Portal of the Dark World. <sighs> wow. In my opinion, guys, the $6 mystery pack is not worth it at all. Definitely a no-no. Put an X on that. Wow. Oh my goodness, guys. Dollarama Pack is definitely winning right now. Super winning right now. Super, super duper winning. Okay, let's go to the Mystery Power Cube. This is, of course, $30, 30 Canadian, 35 some. It's like 32 Canadian plus tax, okay? So I'm in here for the five rare cards that we're able to get out of this, out of these Mystery Packs here. So can we get an Ash? Can we get an Extravagance? Can we get a Phantasmate or a Slifer? Let's find out on the next episode of Yugi Duel Monsters. So right here, Cool, so the packs right here, what do we get? So the packs we got, okay, wow. So we got two legacy packs, Feral Servant and of course Raging Tempest, which is not that bad, this is great. So we got two legacy packs, which is really good. Let's see what else we got. Okay, so we got five rare cards and 55 common cards. So let's see, 
So we got Gustav Max as the rare. So here is our mystery pack aspect on these things. Dark Rules Fairy, Red Rules Dragon, Blooming of the Darkest Road. Uh, Blooming of the Darkest Rose. Uh, not that bad, I guess, but it's not the greatest rares ever. Uh, Miscellanosaurus. Pretty good. Uh, what else? We get some 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 worth it commons right here. Oh, man, these commons aren't doing us any justice at all. Give me something nice. Yep, it's it's definitely a head bus right here. Definitely a head bus. Not worth it. Dollar Rama packs stay winning. One dollar Yu-Gi-Oh packs stay winning. All right, if I would raging tempest, we got booster packs in this, so let's might as well open them. Heater Millions, Speed Roy, Miscellanosaurus, Fusion Paris. Oh, Brave Eyes, Pendulum Dragon. So we did get a secret rare, which is not that bad, but. Man, the chances of you getting something really good out of this, like Raging Tempest, is very slim, but we did get a Secret Rare, huh, which is really amazing. Let's just start out with Feral Servant. If you can pull something off LOB, that will be great. Let's go off with Feral Servant. No smell to this one. I can't really smell anything. Uh, only Tank T34. Limited Room. Wow! I'm lucky today with these packs, man. These packs are doing me justice. Limited Removal PSV. Morphing Jar number two. Let me just try to smell that. There's not really... Oh, it's not, the smell isn't as strong as the other smells that I've that I've encountered in the game of Yu-Gi-Oh! But so far, we got two for two on the packs. L.O.B. This is their smell. Wow, I'm disappointed. There's no smell to these L.O.B. packs, man. King Fog. Forest. Come on, Hain Hain. Hain Hain loves me. If you guys are a fan of the channel, you guys are watching me for a long time, you guys knew how many copies of Hain Hain I've pulled in a lifetime in L.O.B. packs. But... Damn, man. Damn. I just wanted the 55 common slash rare cards to be good, but unfortunately it wasn't. But these packs are still pretty nice. It's 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 still, you know, it's still okay. It's, it's still pretty good. And that we're able to at least pull some foils out of these mystery packs. Let's go off to the last and final. This is the $50 mystery box, mystery pack, whatever you guys want to call it. So one rare Metal Raiders card graded, one legacy pack, and four booster packs right here. So the most this is the most expensive mystery packs if you guys were to ask me okay so we got a flames of destruction first edition booster pack what else do we got okay we got a court of the duelist booster pack first edition shining victories first edition so it's it's pretty nice Sp uh spell ruler english edition and of course a destiny soldier and what else do we got and this is the graded card okay graded card upside down let's put this upside down to see on what we got uh right here I did not see the graded card yet, but here we go. This is 50 bucks, 50 bones right here. See ya. All right, let's get started off with the Destiny Soldiers first. What's in this? Dark Lord Superbia, Destiny Plasma, Veil Darkness, and D Cube. Okay, the mystery box right here is definitely more for the graded cards and also for the legacy pack over any random cards that we get. Hit a regular mystery packs, get dollar ammo. Those are literally mystery packs. Like you don't know what cards you can get, but this one is like kind of like a mystery box, taking your chances on actually pulling something great out of the PSA graded card and also at the same time pulling something good out of these booster pack right here. So, funny victories. Can we pull the crystal wing? That would be great. Ooh, Raid Raptor Ultimate Falcon. Not bad, not bad. So there we go. Awesome staple with. Uh, what's it called? Uh, uh, what's it called? Wick, uh, Wicking the Dragons. Vendred, Revenant, Speedroids, M-Duck, Trap Trips, Mantis right here. Cool, and this is the European pack. You guys can see how dark uh, these booster packs are. Let's go off with the Flames of Destruction booster pack. W what can we get? I, I believe Flames of Destruction Im Imperm is in here? Or maybe that's that's Circuit Break, I don't know. Vendred, Ultra Guys, Mech Knight, Goki the Master Ogre. Firefighter, Drew Madal, War Legacy, Nightmare, Insector, and of course, Limit Code. All right, guys, last pack, Spell Ruler. Come on, let me smell. Okay, this one has a smell. Smells great. Ooh, smells really, really good. Ooh, Invader of the Throne. Nice. So we did get a foil. <laughs> Amazing in these Legacy Packs. I remember any Legacy Pack, they're able to pull a foil. I'm very, very proud. Very, very happy. Invader of the Throne. All right, guys. For the last and final Beckett CCG graded card. Without further ado. Ooh! Heavy Storm! 10! Mint! Wow! MRD Heavy Storm! How much is this? Leave it in the comment section below. This is great! Wow! Unlimited. If it was first ad, how, how much would this be, man? This is I, I don't know how much this is. Why not? I'm gonna give this away. 
to one lucky subscriber who just liked the video and leave a comment in the comment section below, man. Like always, guys, when I do when I do giveaways, I always like to give it to my subscribers. So you must be subscribed to enter this quick giveaway. And I have I probably have no use to this. I, I you know I I'm not gonna do anything with this personally, so I'm gonna give this to one lucky subscriber. All you guys gotta do is leave a like and comment, and I'll reply to your comment. And if I reply to you, you are the winner of this mini giveaway. So hit the subscribe button, leave a like and comment, and that's pretty much it, guys. And to answer the question, which one was the most which one was the most worth it? Was it $1, $6, $30, or the $50 mystery box? Let me know in the comments section below. In my personal opinion, guys, the one, the winner of this entire challenge video has to be the $1 mystery packs. Um, the mystery packs was crazy from Dollarama. If you guys wanna see a separate video where I buy a ton of $1 mystery packs, let me know in the comments section below. And that's pretty much it. Subscribe for more Yu-Gi-Oh! video, guys. You guys are really awesome. And this is your boy, Sam, from Team Shadow and Sam signing out. Make sure you guys get your awesome Sick of Beast play mat today. Hit the link down below at TX1.com. And thank you guys so much for watching. Good luck. Make sure you guys leave a like and comment. That'll be absolutely amazing. And this is your boy, Sam, from Team Shadow and Sam signing out. All right, guys, peace. Be sure to get your playmat today at tsx1.com.